Now I would like to show you how you can teach your horse to mobilize the shoulders and yield the shoulders 360 degrees without moving forward. This can be a rather challenging task with most horses, as most horses are heavy on the forehand and find it a hard time to find a soft yield. So the goal is in this exercise that the horse yields a shoulder on light pressure here in the cinch area for 360 degrees without moving forward and that so that the horse learns that I can only speak to the shoulders separately. This will help later to develop movements and maneuvers like the spin if you invest in sports or later on the pirouette if you're in dressage or a turn on the haunches or in the beginning on the first few rides it will help a big deal that simple direction left and right is a lot, a lot better understood by your horse. So horses tend to be uh, more heavy on steady pressure than on rhythmic pressure. So a prerequisite for this exercise would be that your horse knows to yield from rhythmic pressure. And already knows the maneuver turn 360 degrees yeah, Gwen, good girl, good girl. Knows this maneuver from this point of view. So once your horse can do that, good girl, you can teach your horse yield from steady pressure. So I like to think of when I explain the aids to the horse, I need to explain rein aids and leg aids. This hand here will be the rein aid because when I'm riding with a halter, I'll talk, uh, the reins will be attached here. So I have this hand loosely with the fingers open so that I really feel the horse's response. If the horse resists, I will close the hand, yes, but basically I leave my hand open. It's really important for better feel. And then if I'm just teaching the horse, I put my hand here. Later I put it here. Here it's a bit more clear and easier to understand for the horse. Then first I start by shifting the weight back. Good oh, girl. And now you see she's pushing forward so I can correct her here on the halter. There. Good girl. Huh? Back up. See, she's just two years old. Things don't work perfectly. Yes. Good girl, dear. Okay. So. Now you could see she does not respond perfectly yet to pressure on the nose. Yeah. Good girl. So once this exercise starts working better, you put your hand here and still the hand here on the halter and you ask your horse to move. You apply the pressure in phases. First you just touch the hair, then the skin, then the muscle, then you double that pressure and you double that pressure. No, don't walk forward, don't walk forward. Good girl. And as always with young horses, you have to be black and white. And you have to tell your horse what you want and where you don't want it to go. And I don't want her to go forward. So after a while she really runs in the halter and resists here when I give her a feel, I start to bump the halter a little bit to encourage her to take off the feel. You can ask a horse to move by starting to apply pressure in phases. You start by touching the hair and you increase the pressure all three seconds. Good girl. There it's light. Good girl. When you feel that your horse makes a few nice and light steps, you reward. You want to see that your horse really crosses the legs in front of each other. Not stepping forward, 
and not stepping behind, we're really in front and crossing far. That's the goal of the exercise.